plan to maximize your return. Enforce a social security plan. Learn the correct... Hello, um, today I want to talk about um, just making just making a big slip into eating uh, crappy food. Um, you know, I, I thought I was doing pretty well um, just sticking with the basics, avoiding canned food, um, making low sodium, low added sugar choices when I shop at Walmart. <laughs> Walmart for groceries and you know I've been doing pretty good budget wise I think I've been maintaining a basic goal of around five dollars a day which is I think pretty good I mean I don't get food every day but I think it evens out to around five dollars a day and when I do that I'm avoiding eating fast food too. I mean, I do every once in a while, but I've now got into more of a habit that I don't. Um, <laughs> however, um, a few weeks ago, I, I slipped. Pringles. Uh, the price w was what reeled me in. It was like a buck fifty-nine. Uh, you know, anything under two dollars, uh, um, and you can fill up your belly. I mean, I won't eat a can of Pringles in a whole sitting, but um, it's. I think it's a pretty good value, and that got me hooked back into salty foods. So. <laughs> The next way I slipped was this, cola. I've been not drinking pop uh, for a while now. I mean, I rarely drink pop. I mean, every once in a while, but, you know, obviously in moderation is not so bad. <laughs> no, uh, this is very bad. Um, the amount of sugar, added sugar in the diet no i mean if i wasn't exercising and walking a lot um you know i i'd be in real trouble because you add too much sugar and salt to your diet the sugar is a invitation for diabetes and the salt of course is an invitation for the silent killer high blood pressure man i it got even worse today it, I slipped to whole new low when I saw this. Like, like a dollar sixty nine or something. Oh man, you know I I don't get to eat like this anymore. Um, and the coup de gras. This is terrible. Um, I got roped in again. Um, and I even... I, I saw this uh, documentary yesterday about salmon farming in Norway and fish farming throughout the world. And oh my gosh. Uh, oh my gosh. It's horrible horrible and uh you're crazy if you eat farmed fish anymore i i was at walmart and i saw oh atlantic atlantic salmon in their uh fridge farmed a farmed product of chili and any farmed fish if you saw this <laughs> documentary yesterday, which I linked in uh, in one of my recent videos, oh, it's horrible. It's horrible what 
what gets into that and how it impacts the fish themselves. Um, you can't eat that anymore. I, uh, I, I'll have to look it up, but there was a disclaimer on the label, uh, you know, certified safe uh, raised or something. And, you know, it's like you can't believe any crap that's on any label anymore you just can't uh i mean you you can't the food available uh in the grocery store is it's just horrible it's it's only the de, 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 derivative of salt or sugar Unless you buy an apple off the shelf or uh, an av uh, avocado I bought today, which, you know, it was 88 cents, but I bought, uh, I bit the bullet, uh, took one for the team. I mean, I, my grocery bill today was $17. I, I got some staples too, and my grocery bill from less than a week ago was $25 and I, I got some foods that I needed to stock up on that last a while and buy water and everything else but um, yeah I my budget is getting blown up because of the junk food I'm adding to the list and oh <laughs> another thing oh you know if you've ever had gumbo um, in Louisiana, you'll get hooked, and, um, sausage and chicken gumbo, oh, this is great, uh, this is really tasty, and it's, this is a meal, so I justify buying this because I spend, you know, a couple bucks or three bucks every once in a while on, you know, McDonald's or whatever, and to to avoid going getting the fast food and having a full tummy for a buck 88 or a buck 78 I mean that's that's good but the problem is this you can't eat this in one sitting they're doing something clever with the nutrition breakdown um, they're breaking it into recommended servings or if you eat the whole can, which you know a lot of people do, uh, <laughs> recommended serving, you won't die. But if you eat the whole can, you're not you're not gonna look too good with uh, what's going into your body in terms of salt and. You know, another thing is, like, there's no nutrition anymore. You look at the uh, uh, vitamin D, calcium, iron, potassium. Vitamin D, if you eat the whole can, well, I, if you eat the recommended serving, zero. Calcium, recommended serving, only 4%. Iron, 4%. Potassium, 6%. And... You buy frozen vegetables, just raw frozen vegetables with no additives, and you're 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 looking at the same thing. It's like there's no nutrition in there. It's like how? I mean what's what's going on? How why is there no nutritional value in food anymore? So yeah. Crazy stuff. Um Crazy stuff. And once again, if you understand how I spend money, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> if I can at all avoid it. I mean, I'm I'm horrible with food. I look at a $8 or $9 menu item and it's like, that's two days worth of food for me. If I, I mean... Six meals or one meal, I can't do it. Even um, I was at McDonald's last night. Uh, 
didn't really have a dinner meal. So this was going to be my dinner meal. And I usually get the $3 combo, McDouble and small fry. And, it, you know, a year ago down here, it used to be $2.50. $2 uh, so it was a great deal. Um, I th Well, I think in Minnesota, no. It was even cheaper. It was $2 at one point uh, or something like that. Anyway, it's too much for me. Three three bucks for a sandwich and a small fry, too much. Uh, it, with tax, uh, it comes to around three twenty five or whatever. And, you know, the logic for me going to McDonald's last night was there's a... There's a dollar menu still. So I saved 50%, which is significant, by ordering a cheeseburger and McChicken for $2 plus tax over a $3 combo, which, you know, $3.25. So I made 50% savings by buying that $2 worth of food. I think like that. I I cannot, I can't, I can't not think like that. Um, if I know I can get it cheaper, I'm not going to spend the money. And it's crazy because, you know, um, I'm an investor and a, a sometimes poker player. And there's significant money changing hands in those situations but I can't, <laughs> I can't order a $4 meal if a $2 meal is available. And even when I go to the mall, um, I order the cheapest thing I can get. Uh, I have, I, I order something tasty at the Cajun Grill at the Baybrook Mall, which is a vegetable uh, side, small side for $2.99. And they stuff it full of vegetables uh broccoli cauliflower cabbage carrots it's it's really good uh but you know a four dollar option is available with meat or something but as long as a cheaper option is available i can't bring myself to spend the money um no matter how much I have in my pocket. It's crazy. Uh, you know, I used to joke with people that anytime I, I'm going to spend money, I need counseling uh, or an intervention. But that's kind of true. I mean, there's something, something wrong in my mind that I can't uh, consciously waste money on consumable items it's it's an investment for me or it's 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 a waste of money um i i spent you know i i i kind of got a nicer phone this time spent double what i would normally do maybe triple what i normally would do but i looked at in at at it as an investment it's a uh, it has a very good video package or lens package on it. A lot of memory, a great phone. But, well, I, I just got work, done working at the state fair, so I had some earnings to work with. But my situation today, uh, my stocks haven't been doing very well, as no one's probably has, aside from Nancy Pelosi, um, since Biden took over, um, but, um, uh, yeah, so I, uh, you know, my debt to, uh, savings ratio is now one to one, if, if that, so I'm essentially broke, so it kind of makes sense how I don't spend money because I don't have money to spend, 
unless I'm gonna go into debt. So, yeah. Oh, uh, to end on a positive note, uh, there was a windstorm on Monday, and I went crabbing, fossil crabbing, uh, and I didn't achieve any results. But I, there's two hot spots. The new hot spot I went to this morning, and I found some results. Um, uh, a, a pretty nice fossil crab, and uh, crab. Um, uh, claws, which I'm not sure are fossilized, but I, I kind of think they must be, um, cause I mean, I, I don't find, <laughs> uh, crab claws other, in other areas at the beach. I only find them within proximity to the fossil crabs. So, uh, they look a little different, but I, I, they must come from the same spot. And, I found a fossil shark tooth today. My first one on Galveston. I'm super stoked. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, um, anyway, it's kind of late. Uh, I really, really was gonna try to get to coffee and writing today, and I, 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 I can't make an excuse not to. It's really late, um, but um, I think decaf I'll have to get and uh, have to uh, pound away at the script or two books that I'm writing. So, um, yeah, I'm actually enjoying the fact that I'm making progress, which is great because um, it's fun to write and it's fun to be creative and it's even more fun when you end up with a an uh, intellectual property or asset uh, to show for so uh, so I'm gonna really put in the work and the effort and hopefully I maintain this a, a good stride and uh, get the work done it'll take some time but I've done it before, I can do it again.